it took us six hours to make it through the border of Mexico to Guatemala. I added two hours to the process by bringing the wrong vehicle registration. The other four hours were just slow moving bureaucrats and a complete vehicle search in 100 degree sun. We felt our tension melt away while driving in Guatemala. The roads are worse than Mexico, but the police were friendly and legit and the drivers were courteous. The descent through the village of Solala into Atitlan was hair raising due to its narrow and steep cobblestone roads. With Nicole on navigation and me at the wheel, we made it no problem. Mayan culture is alive and well in Atitlan, which added an unexpected and intriguing element to our travels. Guatemala is packed full of color and curiosity. Sometimes it's overstimulating and a quiet outing in nature is what's needed. This nature preserve was a short walk from where we were staying. We saw several howler monkeys and numerous coatis while exploring the hanging bridge system. It's far more efficient to take the boat taxis across the lake rather than drive from town to town. It's interesting watching the mix of native locals, expat locals, and tourists come and go from each taxi stop. surrounding the lake is known to have its own vibe. San Juan La Lagunas is known for having clean streets, bright murals, and a good art scene.
Say what you will about Guatemalan basketball, these kids were making basket after basket. In San Juan, we got into the art scene and ended up with two paintings and two masks from the local Mayan artists. Transporting them home will be the next hurdle. Nicole, Xander, and I love the Guatemalan specialty of pepion, with thick, fresh tortillas, while Tara still sticks to her basics. I also discovered and rediscovered my favorite Guatemalan beer, a crispy dark lager called Mosa. <laughs> Let's face it, kids and butterflies will always be a successful outing. I knew our ascent and exit through Sola La would be chaotic and was glad I had the camera out. What an interesting part of the world Atitlan is. I know we only scratched the surface.